Hello and welcome to SprueCam Tutorials brought to you by SprueCam America. This is beginning tutorial number 11. In this tutorial we are going to be flipping the part that we have been machining in the past tutorials and changing the um, work offset number so that we can machine the other side. So as you can see here, we still have the project open from um, tutorial 10 where we went around and chamfered the outside. Well now we want to flip over the part so we can do the rest. And the first thing we are going to do is actually left click or right click on the part, dynamically rotate it upside down and we're going to do this so it's around the y-axis so we can see sprue cam right there and we have a crazy little hill here and some other um, drill holes and we want to look at it from the side okay now we are going to go up here to this little um, crosshairs and click in that box. We're going to click on that. Now we're going to bring this down and we're going to kind of find where it seems to want to snap. Because we have our dynamic snap on, so we want to snap it right there. Okay? And we want the x axis to go right here. So that is our line. Now we can kind of tilt it a little bit. Now if we go out here on this line, the x-axis will follow. See that red arrow follow? And we want our y-axis to be out here. So when we grab on this line and start moving it, we'll click it. Now we have our work offset set correctly as far as orientation goes but not for position on the part. So the orientation is correct. Where we have y-axis going into the machine, and x-axis going left to right, and z-axis going up and down. But we have to alter this so we can get it into the center of the part. So we are going to click on the little active coordinate system properties icon with a little hand and piece of paper and we'll look at what we have here now the position in the parent coordinate system is what we see right here we are on the x0 location we are y minus 1.6 and we are z minus 1.1 and three millions. So what we're going to do is basically just change Y to zero and click OK. Now you see that the crosshairs bounced into the center of the part. So we are at X0, Y0 the same way we were in X0, Y0 in G54. But we are at the bottom of the part or what will be the top of the part when we go further. All right, we have made our local CS1 right here, local CS1, the top center of the back side of the part. So now we're going to create an operation. We're going to create a roughing plane operation. So we're going to go to create roughing plane and we are going to select our job assignment which is automatically going to be this side. With a roughing plane it's just going to do everything so on this side and we're going to click run. Just run right away just to see what we get. 
Now you're gonna say, oh, Eric, everything's upside down. It's going milling back here. That is true because we need to tell this particular operation not to do what it was doing before, to change its orientation. So we're gonna go to the setup icon right here. We're gonna go to workpiece setup, click in there and click this three dot button there and pick local CS1. Okay, you can see now the cutter jumped to the opposite side. And for workpiece coordinate system, we're going to hit the dot again. We're going to pick local CS1, and then our local CS number is going to be 55, because that will translate to our G55 location for our actual machining. And click OK. And now our local CS, we're going to make local CS1. Now I'm going to click Run again. Now all the machining is taking place on the correct side, but it is going pretty deep. So we need to set some parameters. So we're going to double click into roughing plane. And we're using a half inch finish end mill, which is probably going to be okay. We will keep that for this. We're going to go to feeds and speeds, and I think as before we decided, oh, this is plastic, so we're going to go real fast. We have our lead in, lead out. We're going to set that to a safe level of 0 0.05. Parameters. Now this is where we got to pay attention for the depth. We're going to go to minus 0 0.3, I believe, for our ultimate depth. Um, Let's click OK and make sure we check that. Okay, so let's click the calipers and we'll click workpiece. Oh, we need to go a little deeper than that then. Looks like it's a little deeper. It's about 0.35. So Click out of that. We'll go back into roughing plane. We'll change this to negative 0.35. We will keep um, five thousandths of stock for finishing later. We'll put our safe plane at 0.1. And we're going to take this in four cuts. Let's do four cuts. Look at our strategy. All the rest of this looks just about fine. Now let's click OK. And we're going to click Run. All right, so we see four different layers there. So let us click Simulation. And we're going to Click play. Let's watch what we get here. Moving pretty quick. Here it jumps over the start of that little island. And you can see the difference between plane and water line. This is just going back and forth, straight lines, up and down. Where water line kind of makes a, a circular path. And there we are. We have roughed out the back side of the part. So this has been SprueCam 7 beginning tutorial number 11 on how to flip the part and doing a roughing plane. I hope you enjoyed it.